In the state of California, 1,800 vessels docked in at the port of Los Angeles carrying over $310 billion worth of cargo last year. And with a new federal grant of $30 million for one of the busiest ports globally in the same state, the port of Long Beach is inching closer to its zero carbon emissions goal by 2030. We have reduced our emissions by 90% with a goal with our net zero plan by 2030 to be the first truly net zero container terminal in the world. And I mean every bit of fossil fuels will be eliminated from this operation. The maritime industry is a big producer of emissions in this region for the local communities and LVCT is doing its part to make sure that we've reduced it down to zero, at least for our operation here at LVCT. The latest investment aims to convert a fleet of 60 heavy-duty trucks from diesel to all-electric, putting the port ahead of the technology curve. But the new funding is conditional, as it has to make sure no jobs are lost as a result of installing new green technology. What we have here is a crane in which I have a man in the cab who's doing some of the work to and from loading and discharging the ship but it's also going to this platform and then ultimately to an automated guided vehicle or an automated transport system, which is running autonomously. It's running on a grid of transponders that are embedded in the pavement and of course wirelessly the operating system is speaking to each vehicle, telling it where to go, what to do. Port officials argue America's most automated port terminal still relies heavily on human labor, but they fall short on revealing the number of layoffs. This latest makeover comes at a sensitive time for port workers who've been in the process of negotiating a new labor contract for over a year, demanding better pay and conditions. Earlier this month, a tentative labor contract was reached between the Pacific Maritime Association and the union that represents 22,000 longshore workers at 29 West Coast ports widely seen as a critical move to ensure the port's smooth operations and to bring stability to supply chains. Nearly 40 percent of all imports to the United States comes through the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach, and their operation has a direct impact on the U.S. economy. And port authorities are compelled to strike a balance between advancing green technology and saving jobs. It is Tianshan, CGTN, Port of Los Angeles.